This video is sponsored by Osea Malibu. I'm so excited to share today's sponsor with you because I literally had them written down on my list of dream collaborations, so when they reached out, it was an easy yes. Osea is a recently certified climate neutral, family owned vegan skincare company based in California, established in 1995. Since the beginning, the goal of Osea, created by a mother-daughter duo, has been to deliver your best skin, no matter what your skin type, with the highest quality, earth-friendly ingredients. Osea prioritizes both the thoughtful sourcing of quality ingredients and the ethical treatment of those involved in the harvesting process. Sustainability is a core value of Osea, from their use of recyclable glass bottles to the elimination of synthetic ingredients that harm ecosystems, their skincare is good for you without harming the planet. Three of my favorites are Osea's Cleansing Milk, Hyaluronic Sea Serum, and Atmospheric Protection Cream, all which contain a blend of organic seaweed that, along with their other nourishing ingredients, are deeply hydrating and moisturizing for my dry, sensitive skin. USDA certified organic, sustainably farmed seaweed is the star ingredient in most of their formulations. The sea superfood contains vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s that are beneficial for all skin types. You can take Osea's skin quiz on their website and discover the best products for your skin's unique needs. And if you find something that you'd like to try, use code AllieCherry at checkout for 10% off your first purchase. Thanks again, Osea, for sponsoring this video. I've always been a pretty casual dresser, but over the last 18 months, for reasons that I'm sure I don't need to explain, I've taken it to another level, and my daily outfits have usually looked something like this. I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with being comfortable, but I know for me, taking a few minutes in the morning to get ready helps me to distinguish my home time from my work time, even if those two things are happening in the same space. And I'm not alone in thinking this. I was reading a HuffPost article, and according to this clinical psychologist, the behavioral act of getting dressed can have a significantly positive impact on our mood, confidence, and behaviors. She believes that the act of getting dressed up first thing in the morning may increase our motivation to do other things throughout the day, to experience more energy, and to want to do more things. It gets us out of the cycle of staying in that place of inaction. So today I wanted to share a little bit of outfit motivation and encouragement to shop your own closet because it can be hard to get back into things, especially when stretchy pants are just so comfortable. Monday was a holiday, but I still worked a little bit. I wanted to wear these green shorts because I hadn't worn them in a long time and I really liked the high rise cut of them. I took my look into full 70s camp counselor vibes because that's my preferred summer mood. And I layered this flannel over a white tee. My hair was a mess, so I covered it up by using a vintage scarf. My favorite vintage scarves are by Vera, but this San Francisco one is a really pretty special design too. And then I added this really pretty rosy lip color from Axiology to finish things up. On Tuesday, I kept things pretty simple and classic for me, and I went with one of my favorite spring-summer tops, which is this light and airy linen and organic cotton top from Outer Known. I really like the boxy design, and it's great because it's cute tied in the front, tucked in, or just like worn normally, so it's pretty versatile. These jeans are from ThreadUp, and they are my favorite. So jeans obviously are so hard to shop for, especially online. When I got them, they were a little bit big, but I just took them to my tailor, and now I feel Feel like they fit me perfectly which is so awesome. I wear this headband pretty often. I only have two that are this sort of style but they're great especially for bad hair days and if you want to find trendy pieces like this one I highly recommend looking on sites like Poshmark. There are so many headbands similar to this one on there right now. Wednesday was my grandma's birthday and that doesn't have anything to do with this outfit but I got to see her on this day and that makes me really happy so I wore these black Levi's from Poshmark and then this 10 tree sweater is still one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. I think I've had it for about two years now and it's held up really well. I've had this purse for a while and I really like it because I can change up its look with straps, like, you know, by changing out the straps. And I think when it comes to smaller wardrobes, pieces like this are so key because you can have less stuff but really change things up super easily. I decided to add a little bit of color to this monochromatic look with my jade bracelet that I got at an antique store a couple months ago and I really like it. 
On this day, I wore my thrifted dress little jumpsuit thing, but I decided to dress it down by adding vans and a jacket. So I was gonna wear my liner jacket, but it was like a little bit too puffy for what I was going for here. So I just ended up wearing my embroidered jacket instead. If you're new here, I bought this jacket from a vendor at the flea market years ago that embroiders daisies on things, and it's just so special and I love it so much. And then this bag is a really special one too. I got it on Poshmark <laughs> secondhand and I always get so many compliments on it. It's such a fun shape. I also recently just purchased this lip tint from Rose and Water and it was my first time buying it in the tin instead of the compostable tube. And I feel like it's such a great bang for your buck. This thing's huge and I just use a lip brush to apply it and I just really like the subtle color. On Friday, I wore these pants that might look a little bit familiar because they're basically the same shape as the shorts that I wore on Monday, but in pants form and I'm down for that because they're really comfortable and I love the high rise like I mentioned earlier. I really love them and on this day I paired them with this fun colorful Rolling Stones tee and some fun jewelry, basically just my everyday stuff, this gold pendant and my new secondhand C necklace. And then I ended up throwing on my favorite quilted coat from Rudy Jude. I feel like I've been saying a lot of things are my favorite, but that's kind of what happens with the smaller wardrobe, I feel like, is that you kind of just have a wardrobe filled of your favorite stuff, which is great, but I really, really do love this coat. Um, it's made out of vintage quilts and it's just such a pretty color. So those are all the outfits that I wore last week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more content like this for you. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.